Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Oh lord, like can people not drive their cars and make noise like that? Let's wait. So, today is 2019. I am shooting this video um, and it's all about my New Year's uh, health goal. Thought I would share them with you uh, and why I had set them. So maybe it might help like a few of you, you know, uh, in terms of thinking about your own health goal. So let's get into it. I actually wrote them down, so I kind of be um, referencing to my laptop as we speak, right? So the first goal on my list is is drink two liters of water a day so guys it's so easy to basically just forget to drink water during the day so i have made it a goal to actually drink two liters of water a day and how am i going to set myself up for success i'm going to carry a water bottle to work right uh, and when i'm at work i have a water bottle in the fridge where i know in the morning it was filled uh, and so during the day and by the time night time hit, I must fill it again. Why do you need to drink water? Well, because your body needs it to function, guys. Your kidney needs it. You, 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 you need it for hydration. Your body is made up like more than 70% of it is water. So which means that composition needs to be maintained. But in general, I just function better when I have water. Also, if you are on a journey of losing weight, then you're going to have to drink water. Ideally, you want to drink water right before your meals. You want to fill yourself up with water so that as a result, you will not be able to consume more food because your stomach is already filled with water. So that's also a trick I'm going to be using in order to, to sort of like maintain or lose more fat during the year right because i'm also on a healthy plus a weight loss journey i want to lose fat basically you know i'm happy with my body but the fat composition is a bit alarming uh so yeah or alternatively you could actually drink water post eating so sometimes you eat ne, and you served yourself a small portion uh because that's what it's about and then in order to make yourself feel full, I would recommend that you actually drink a lot of water post eating. It helps me feel fuller for longer. So that's also another trick that maybe you could use and it will help you. So let's go on to goal number two. Um, the second goal is sleep six to seven hours a day. Guys, I cannot stress the importance of this. Your body needs to restore itself. And it does that when you sleep, you know, that's the moment where everything restores itself. And also if you are on a weight loss journey, you're going to have to, to, to sort of like sleep. You, you have to sleep. Um, you need to rest in order for your body to function optimally so i'm saying not the normal eight hours a day because that's a lot of hours we all have other goals that we want to achieve in terms of school work and all of that but you need to put your health first if you don't sleep well you cannot function well it's a fact so like rather just to six to seven hours a day make sure you i want to actually set a consistent time whereby i tell myself if i'm up at five o'clock every day i'm going to have to sleep like I guess around nine or something do you get what i mean so i i want to keep a consistent sleeping pattern that's one of my goals under the sleep to six to seven hours a day is to wake up um early at a consistent time and also to sleep early you know at the same time so that's that's my goal uh the the third goal is to be vegan for the entire 2019 yes so I have already started, I started before the year ended, the 2018 ended, and I'm now on day three of veganism. Uh, I have decided to do that because generally I'm not a meat eater. Uh, also, I just wanna see what the lifestyle has to offer. And I think it will just be much healthier for me to be on it. Not to say that if you just go vegan, you're healthy, no. 
I just feel like for me it will be healthier um, and I love a challenge and veganism is a challenge. Um, the fourth goal that's on my list is be prepared. So in this journey of, you know, trying to be healthier, it is important that you are prepared. So you, I'm going to have to learn to meal prep in advance. It doesn't mean that I'm going to eat the same thing throughout the week, but basically just, you know, having smoothie uh, uh, packages in my fridge, whereby I know if I come home, I'm so hungry, I just grab one in the fridge, I put it in the banana blend. I don't still have to chop, I don't still have to look for what combination am I gonna put together. That discourages you from eating healthy. The more you have to think about something, the more work you have to put into it, the more you get discouraged, the more you turn to easier options, which are your junk food, right? So always have like snack things around, healthy snacks around, always have your fridge packed with fruits, always have your smoothies prepared like yeah always have overnight oats sitting somewhere always have overnight meals sitting somewhere guys that's going to be my goal for the year so and then goal number five is to try out new fruits vegetables legumes or any food type once at least once a month so you know if you want to keep this journey interesting you need to introduce new things you need to open your mind to new things if you hated broccoli you're gonna have to start being open to the idea of broccoli you're gonna have to find ways to make it nice and so yeah so one of those f vegetables for me would be asparagus i have not really had asparagus i don't know how asparagus tastes like i've been running away from it for the longest of times i think i know why it's because people have always said that it tastes nasty and it makes your urine t smell nasty so i've just always run away from it but in 2019 i'm going to make it a point that i eat asparagus at least once a month right so that is my fifth goal right so going on to the sixth goal is to document my journey so that is why i have the youtube channel that is why i have my instagram page my uh, 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 what do you call this Facebook page it's so that I can journal the, the, the journey so that I can document it it's always nice to have a reference uh, it's always nice to when someone says Tandy I want to be vegan how do I do it I can just refer them and be like look at my page uh, that that's how I've been doing it and it's always nice when you want to reflect to go back to the things you were eating and you know on top of that i want to keep a food journal so i actually need to go buy a small little book that i know i can carry around with me everywhere and journal you know why because it really brings awareness to you as to what you are eating a day some of us we forget what we eat honestly we are in denial about how much we are eating and so if you put keep a food journal it really first of all shows you exactly what is happening Second of all, you have some form of responsibility and accountability. So every time you know that, hey, if I eat three burgers now, I'm gonna have to write that on my journal. So maybe let me just eat half a burger. So it, it helps also on the weight loss journey. So I would really recommend for you to keep a food journal or journal your doc or, or journal your 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 journey elsewhere, you know, on social media, wherever, maybe have someone you you can be accountable to, something like that. And then um, my seventh, seventh goal is to do yoga three times a week. So last year my goal was to run every single day. Unfortunately, I got injured while doing that because of my running technique. You know, the way my feet hits the ground. And so over time, I actually damaged my ankle. Uh, so I really don't want to really like push running this year i want to do something that's also intense but less harmful to my joints and that is yoga so i'm going to go to gym every single day and do classes not every single day three times at least three times a week i'm going to try and go to gym and do the classes uh so that's basic so that, that will be my form of exercise and then my eighth one is to do park run every saturday i used to do park run every single saturday and then I just stopped because I got injured. So to limit the running and the damage it can cause to my joints, I'm going to go every Saturday at least and do a 5K. And I'm just gonna improve my time throughout the year. At least I'm running. 
then uh, my ninth one is to only have my cheat days on a Saturday so I want to keep it as clean as possible for five days a week and then on a Saturday and Sunday I can then relax a bit more and have the junk food so believe it or not when you're vegan you can actually have junk food there is junk food so basically there's all these processed foods like you know the alternatives they make then there's uh you know your refined carbs you know and all and all of that and also like fries when you're vegan you can't eat fries because it's 100 percent vegan so there's that also um yeah so basically i really want to stay clear of that throughout the week but i want to treat myself on a weekend where i can have like a sorbet you know uh as an ice cream alternative and so forth yeah and then uh my 10th one is to stop eating uh, um, my meals at 7 p.m every single day you need to give your digestive system time to actually digest your food before you go to bed right that is a rule so that's what i'm trying to um to adhere to and also i just find that if i eat very late i i feel heavy i wake up super hungry the next day so i really want to avoid that i just don't feel that great if i eat very late so i'm going to try to stick it to 7 p.m uh and then another thing uh which is the target number 11 is actually to drink one cup of green tea a day so i struggle with green tea guys green tea is not my thing it's not my favorite but yeah i'm gonna have to, to try and do that i know it's good for me it's good for my metabolism it's good for my skin so i'm just gonna have to try and then um goal number 12 is to eat only when i'm hungry it's very important guys because you know i have a history of uh, uh of emo i am an emotional eater let me put it that way so for me it's an effort to not eat because i'm bored to not eat because in jam doing nothing uh, don't use food as an entertainment basically don't use food for comfort stay away from that stay clear from that it is a bad path to walk down um so basically i'm only gonna eat when i am hungry i'm gonna try that and then um so i'm also gonna my goal number 13 is to limit food waste or try not to have food waste at all uh, so what happens is i in 20 2018 um, i had this habit of you know going to the store and saying mm, i'm gonna make this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this so i'm buying all these fresh fruits right and vegetables only to find that i'm not gonna cook them because for some reason I'd feel lazy and so the food will sit in the fridge and it will eventually rot and I'll have to throw it away. So that's first of all a waste of money and then that's a waste of food, you know. So I've decided that I'm going to find new ways this year to limit food waste and so forth. Maybe I'll try to do another video where I advise and share my techniques of how I'm going to limit food waste for the year. Um, yeah, so those are the goals i wrote for 2019 um i hope they inspire someone i hope you take something from this um yeah guys it's going to be an amazing year it's time we take care of ourselves and you know what do not beat yourself up if you fall off the wagon do not feel like you were failure look i've been at this journey for a few years now and i'm still not perfect you must understand that you need to find what works for you so veganism might not work for everyone uh banting might not work for any everyone keto might not work for everyone but you need to find what works for you and that's what i'm doing this year so i'm going to give veganism a try and i'm going to see if it works for me if it works for me then that's what i'm going to stick with if it doesn't if by the end of the year i feel like no I don't feel as healthy as I should be then I'm gonna end it and I'm gonna move on to another lifestyle it's a trial and error thing so it's not one size fits all so thank you so much for watching my video uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to you know comment like share let's interact I love interacting and yeah